The ocean held a magnetic allure for us. Vast, unexplored and teeming with life, it beckoned us to explore its depths. We were a diverse group, Mark, the seasoned diver, Jake, the marine biologist, and me, Bear, always up for a challenge. Our mission was simple, to document the vibrant ecosystem off the coast of South Africa. Armed with our diving gear and underwater cameras, we plunged into the cool embrace of the Atlantic. As we descended, the sunlight above gradually faded, replaced by an ethereal blue twilight. Excitement bubbled inside me, tinged with a healthy dose of respect for the raw power of the ocean. The underwater world exploded in a riot of colors and shapes. The coral reefs were like underwater gardens, teeming with life and bursting with hues that seemed almost otherworldly. Each coral formation was a masterpiece, a testament to the wonders of nature. Schools of silverfish shimmered like living mercury, their movements synchronized and mesmerizing. They darted and swirled in perfect harmony, creating a dazzling display that left us in awe. It was as if they were performing a choreographed dance, each fish knowing its role in the grand spectacle. A giant grouper, its eyes wide and curious, observed us from behind a coral-encrusted rock. Its presence was both majestic and intimidating, a reminder of the vast and varied life forms that call the ocean home. The grouper's gaze followed our every move, as if it were as fascinated by us as we were by it. Look, over there, a delicate seahorse clinging to a strand of kelp its tiny body swaying gently with the current. Its intricate patterns and delicate form made it look like a piece of living art. The seahorse seemed almost ethereal, a fragile creature in a vast underwater world. I captured the moment on my camera, marveling at the sheer diversity of life thriving in this underwater paradise. Each snapshot was a window into a world that few get to see, a reminder of the beauty and fragility of our oceans. The vibrant colors and bustling activity were a testament to the health of this marine ecosystem. We were so engrossed in our observations that we almost didn't notice it. A subtle shift in the water, a change in the behavior of the fish around us. The once harmonious scene began to feel tense, as if the very water around us was holding its breath. The fish, which had been so calm and coordinated, now seemed agitated and restless. They scattered their movements frantic, as if an unseen predator had entered their midst. The sudden chaos was a stark contrast to the serene beauty we had been witnessing moments before. It was a reminder of the ever-present dangers in the ocean, where the balance of life can shift in an instant. A shiver ran down my spine. Something was wrong. The sense of danger was palpable, and the once vibrant underwater world now felt ominous and foreboding. We knew we had to stay alert, for in the ocean, the unexpected is always just around the corner. Did you guys feel that? Mark's voice crackled over the comms, his tone uncharacteristically tense. Something's out there. I don't see anything, but something definitely spooked the fish. Suddenly a dark shape materialized in the distance, moving with an eerie grace and purpose. It was a shark, unmistakable in its sleek, predatory silhouette. My heart pounded in my chest as it approached, its massive size becoming terrifyingly clear. Great White. The words hung in the water between us, heavy with dread. We were no longer casual observers in this underwater realm, we were prey. The Great White cruised past us, its cold black eyes seeming to assess us with chilling intelligence. It felt as though it was peering into our very souls, calculating every move we made. The sheer presence of this apex predator was enough to send shivers down our spines. Its massive body, easily twice the length of a man, dwarfed us in an instant. The sheer size and power of the creature were overwhelming, making us feel insignificant in its domain. It was a humbling experience, a stark reminder of our place in the natural order. The water around us seemed to crackle with the sheer raw power it possessed. Every movement it made was a display of strength and grace, a testament to millions of years of evolution. The bubbles rising around us seemed to dance in response to its presence, creating an almost surreal atmosphere. Stay calm. Remember your training. It's crucial to keep your wits about you in situations like this. Panic can be your worst enemy. Don't make any sudden movements. Slow, deliberate actions are key. The shark can sense fear and erratic behavior. We must remain composed. Let it know we're not a threat. Our body language should convey peace and non-aggression. We are visitors in its world, and we must respect that. 
My heart hammered against my ribs. Each beat felt like a drum in my chest, echoing the tension of the moment. The heart rate monitor displayed numbers that reflected my anxiety. Staying calm was easier said than done with a predator like this circling us. Its movements were methodical, almost as if it was toying with us. The anticipation of its next move was nerve-wracking. Its reputation as the ocean's deadliest hunter was well-deserved. Every story, every documentary, every piece of information about its prowess was validated in this moment. We were in the presence of a true master of the sea. The shark made another pass, this time closer, its white underbelly flashing as it banked sharply. The proximity was both thrilling and terrifying, a dance of life and death playing out before our eyes. Its razor-sharp teeth, bared in a silent snarl, were a stark reminder of the danger we were in. Each tooth was a weapon, honed to perfection, capable of tearing through flesh with ease. The sight was a sobering reminder of the fine line between awe and fear. We need to get out of here, slowly, back towards the reef. Maybe we can lose it in the coral. We finned backwards, our movements measured and deliberate. The great white shadowed our every move, its presence a suffocating weight pressing down on us. The reef, a haven of safety just moments ago, now seemed impossibly far away. Suddenly the shark lunged. Its massive body shot forward with incredible speed, its jaws snapping shut just inches from Mark's fins. A collective gasp escaped our lips as we watched, our hearts pounding in our throats. The attack, though a near miss, shattered the fragile calm that had held us together. Panic surged through me, threatening to overwhelm my senses. We were no match for the raw power and speed of this apex predator. Swim, swim for your lives. We kicked off with every ounce of strength we could muster, our fins churning the water as we fled towards the safety of the reef. The great white, energized by the chase, pursued us relentlessly, its powerful tail propelling it through the water with terrifying speed. Adrenaline surged through my veins, fueling our desperate flight. The reef loomed closer, its intricate coral formations offering a glimmer of hope. But the shark was closing in, its dark shape a menacing shadow in the blue depths. It's gaining on us. We're not going to make it. I risked a glance over my shoulder. The shark was impossibly close, its black eyes burning into me. Its jaws gaped open, revealing rows of serrated teeth, each one a lethal weapon designed to tear flesh from bone. Just when I thought all was lost, we reached the edge of the reef. Mark, with a burst of desperate energy, disappeared into a narrow crevice, the coral closing behind him like a protective gate. In here! He yelled, his voice muffled by the coral. Quick! Jake and I followed suit, squeezing through the narrow opening into the relative safety of the reef's labyrinthine interior. The great white, its massive bulk too large to follow, slammed into the coral with a sickening thud. We had escaped its jaws for now. We huddled together in the tight confines of our coral refuge, our chests heaving as we struggled to catch our breath. The shark circled outside, its frustration palpable. It slammed its body against the coral, determined to reach us. It's not giving up, he whispered, his voice trembling. Mark, ever resourceful, pulled out his dive knife. We need to find another way out, he said, his voice firm despite the circumstances. We moved cautiously through the coral maze, the shark's movements echoing our own. The pressure of being hunted was relentless, each turn a potential dead end. Time seemed to stretch and warp, each passing second an eternity. Finally, after what felt like an age, we emerged from the reef, the open ocean spread out before us. The shark, its patience wearing thin, had moved off a short distance, its silhouette a dark smudge against the blue canvas of the sea. Let's get out of here he said, his voice a mixture of relief and urgency. We wasted no time, our fins beating in unison as we swam towards the safety of the boat, leaving the great white to its domain. Back on the boat, safe and sound, we collapsed onto the deck, our bodies heavy with the weight of what we had just experienced. Our hands were trembling, not just from the physical exhaustion, but from the adrenaline that still coursed through our veins. The fear was still fresh lingering in the air around us. The ocean stretched out before us, deceptively calm, its surface betraying none of the chaos that had just unfolded beneath. 
The encounter with the Great White was a vivid memory seared into our minds, a stark reminder of the ocean's unpredictable nature. We had faced the ocean's deadliest predator and lived to tell the tale. The sense of relief was palpable, mingling with a newfound respect for the sea and its inhabitants. It was a humbling experience, one that stripped away any illusions of invincibility we might have harbored. The encounter served as a stark reminder of our vulnerability in the face of nature's raw power. The ocean, with its vastness and unpredictability, was a force to be reckoned with. We had glimpsed the heart of the wild, a world where we were mere visitors, and it had changed us in ways we were only beginning to understand. The experience had left an indelible mark on us, a mix of awe and respect that we shared as we recounted our stories. The ocean, once a source of wonder and excitement, now held a newfound respect. Its beauty was undeniable, but so was its power. We looked at the ocean with a sense of awe, understanding that it demanded our utmost respect and caution. Beneath its serene surface lay a power that was both beautiful and terrifying. A reminder that we were guests in its domain. The Great White, a creature both terrifying and magnificent, had taught us a lesson we would never forget. It was a symbol of the ocean's dual nature, capable of both awe-inspiring beauty and deadly force. As we shared our experiences, we realized that the encounter had not only tested our limits, but also deepened our connection to the ocean. It was a lesson in respect, one that would stay with us forever.